most countries, uh, and especially the, some of the largest economies, the advanced economies, the GDP is a number that you arrive at. In China, the GDP is a number that you set at the beginning of the year, and then you do whatever is necessary in order to hit it. That old uh, communist era command and control traditions have uh, persisted when it comes to the Chinese uh, uh, you know, accounting of uh, growth. Um, so what does that mean? Well, what it has resulted in over the last you know couple of decades, it's just been very, very obvious to everybody and longer, but certainly over the last couple of decades, that no matter what needs to be done will be done in China to hit the GDP figure, which means that the growth you're getting is not always productive. Uh, the growth figures that you are getting will be digging a hole and refilling it as Keynes would put it, moving a crane from one place to another. Uh, you know, it, it can result in all sorts of activities as we saw recently during zero COVID when local government started selling land to entities that were actually owned by the local government themselves. They were not corporations. The government was essentially selling land to itself in order to generate growth and already generate revenues for itself in that case. But you start seeing all these things happen because also, of course, the political fortunes and the political futures of Chinese, um, you know, governors and different officials are ultimately linked to their ability to hit their allocated GDP targets. And of course, you end up with rather funny things happening then. You sometimes get provinces which will report a GDP growth rate that has been so high that the center has he said that if you know if you were to add up all the provincial GDPs, it would actually be higher than what the center was claiming. And and the government itself has had to say this is not right, this is manipulated, you have to go back and revise it down. So these are some of the things that have happened which have not only made the GDP somewhat um, less useful, especially for markets, I would say, as a way to gauge how you invest in the Chinese economy. Um, but, but you know, just continue to clarify that it has political salience and should be looked at as that rather than a helpful figure for how the economy is actually performing.